came down from fog. Dark hey guys, welcome back today. I'm hanging with Tammy Tiny. Hello guys. <laughs> of Adela Makeup. Tiny is always doing my makeup. She's been on makeup for about three years. Three yep. years? So yep. when did you move to Nigeria? About three years ago. Three years ago, <laughs> yeah. So she moved to um, Nigeria. She's been doing my makeup and so today she's not touching my face. Yeah. <laughs> Sad. I can't for the first time. Not touching your face yeah, time. for the first time. I, she's gonna watch me do my makeup and get ready using my own products. I'm really bad with my makeup, but she's definitely gonna teach me how to do quick, soft beat on my face and everyday makeup. So stay tuned and get ready with us. Let's have some chit chat about makeup. Okay, so first of eyebrows i usually use mac but i use it to to draw let's just, just use uh, it completely today so yeah you're doing good you just fill it in this is so awkward <laughs> i can't believe i'm doing this with you right now a bit yeah. lighter don't be too heavy on your brows if i have like a brow filler mm -hmm. and i don't want to use this because this mac yeah, pencil you don't is have quite to. expensive i mean you can just it's very expensive you can just use it to fill in the tail just to give it a bit more, you know, colour. Mm. Funny enough, the powder makes it look a lot more natural as well. It's not so, so serious or drawn on. Oh man. No, don't worry, you fix okay. it with concealer. You're really good at this, your brow, do you notice? Know You're way better with this your brow. <laughs> than this brow. one. You want to, the only thing I want to tell you is bring that powder forward a little bit more because this one is a bit more longer than that. No brow uh, twins, they're sisters, but you want them to match as much as you can, as much as you can. Bring what? Just bring it forward. Don't touch my face. Sorry. Okay, let me... <laughs> this is so weird. See, you're good. I don't know why, why I, I'm always I, doing your makeup. I watch you do my makeup, and then obviously I know what you do, that's why. You don't want to get too close to your hairs as well, just right under it. Yeah. What? What's it I've been, been like? I've been in the industry for six years, Sharon. Oh, I mean in the Nigerian industry, oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. Like you moved back been, here, yeah, three, years. three years. What's it been like? <sighs> it's been challenging. I feel like I've gotten to like know the business a lot more being here, and it's not easy to be honest. I Do you have a favorite makeup artist in Nigeria? I love Auntie Binkwe Onokoya. She is amazed balls. Mm. First, you have to apply your primer. primer. Before you apply your primer, you know you've got a bit of dark circles going on. You should just pop a bit of concealer all over your eyes, just to matte it out. Oh. Give it a nice... So what if I don't want eyeshadow at all? Like I just want everyday... Like... Do you know what? When I do my makeup and I don't want eyeshadow, like today I have no eyeshadow. What I do is, whatever I'm putting on my, my contour powder on my nose, Mm. I just work it into my crease and then I leave the lid as my natural color so it makes it look smoky. Okay, that's it what gives I it want. Like a brown, well, not smoky, it just makes it look neutral and sweet. That's a primer, yes. high primer. What I do after that step for you normally is I apply a translucent powder all over your lid just so your eyes don't crease at okay. all, all through the day, especially when you're going to be wearing makeup all day. Don't, don't, don't pat it on you, just like. Blending Ooh, it all over. Yeah, just like you're applying oh, yeah, like powder, a powder, exactly. like powder on it. Oh, like you're setting it actually. Exactly, you're setting it before applying your shadow. It helps blending. All you're doing is taking that powder and applying it all over your eyes. Sorry, I'm left-handed. I'm putting it in your crease first, just to give mm, it a bit Because I noticed, yeah. yeah. Try this white liner I have. You know, with white liner, you can't just apply the liner and just leave it like that. Sometimes you apply and then put some. Yeah, black. you want to like no, not necessarily. You just want to just blend it out a little bit because it can just look too sharp. Okay. So one of the biggest challenges as a makeup artist in Nigeria is if you're one of those type of people that like to keep the time. Nigeria will change you drastically. So you remember how I apply my foundation? Very, I build up. Okay, like just show that, show that. What do you mean build up? What do you mean? What I mean build up is I don't put all the product on your face at once. Do you get? Okay. I take it bit by bit, and then I start to like blend out. 
so that way you don't look cakey. Okay. Even if well, I'm going to apply loads of foundation, it won't look cakey. So after concealer, you set mm. your eyes with your Sasha Buttercup, which I love so much. <laughs> Use that all over first before you go into the next layer. Yeah, keep going. Don't worry. Okay, so if I may ask something, and mm -hmm. this happens especially when I'm doing my makeup more. Mm -hmm. Concealer, under eye concealer, mm -hmm. the line is still showing. That's, that's why I say use. you don't put any product under your eyes, just the concealer. Like, I would apply your foundation, but I wouldn't extend that foundation here, just so it doesn't crease up. A lot of people don't think of it like that, but I feel like the more the product under your eye is, it's... It gets cakey, it gets heavy, and, and it starts to crease in. But if you leave that place bare and you apply just your concealer, and instantly when you're done with your concealer, you just set it with your powder. People do what you see on someone's makeup face that annoys you the most. Nose <laughs> contouring, number one. I'm the worst. <laughs> but like, mm hmm. That two lines. Okay, not one thing. Everything people do that, you know. Contouring. <laughs> one of my biggest in general contouring is one of my why biggest do we, why problems. do we have to contour these days wasn't there wasn't a time we don't that we have to contour have, yeah. let me just say that let me make that clear contour where you need to contour let's let's remind ourselves that contouring is you know highlighting is bringing out what you want everyone to notice and contouring mm -hmm. is receding is taking back certain things so let's say you know you've applied your foundation when you apply your foundation you've taken away all your natural shadows you're using the contouring powder to bring back those shadows and you're using the highlight to bring certain features forward so highlights brings forward contour receives mm. if you don't need to contour no need you don't need to contour how do i contour your face normally because you have a round face i like to personally or i don't know about anybody else i like to contour your face like this from the top of your ears, I work it slightly downwards just to elongate your face a little bit. So I work it coming this direction, just a little bit. And again, so where does the contour end? Here, my contour always ends here. I don't bring it further in. Because why do I see you don't some wanna, on here? Yeah, you don't want to see it from here. You just want to add that shadow. You can tell it's there from your profile but you don't have to see it from here just here is good enough just leave it here here is good enough so this is where you apply your blusher right the apple of your cheeks you're applying the highlighter above that so I always say the corner from the corner of your eye just a little distance there and you just pop that highlighter on top of that bone there and then one of my favorite parts under eye, right. reverse, the reverse contour. Instead of applying the dark brown or whatever on your lid or in your crease, I apply it under your eye to smoke it out and make it look fabulous. When do you use powder? You can use powder at any time. You can use your powder now. You can use it before now. Before at this now. point now, where? where at this area? point, do you know what? I'm just going to teach you this. This is what I do. This is what I do. I take barely anything, right, first. Then I start to blend everything together. I would say moisturizer. Of course, your skin needs to always be hydrated. You always have to have mm. moisturizer in your makeup um, bag. Um, you need tissue when you're, because we're, we're oily. I would say for most people, most of us are oily. When you're applying your foundation, sometimes you have like this oily cast before you're even before you even apply your powder or anything. You can always take a sheet of tissue paper to blot out the excess oils before you continue. You also need to have a beauty blender. I say a beauty blender instead of a brush because it's easy to use. I Anybody use can use a beauty blender. I can use it for mostly everything. Yes, yeah. and the original beauty blender I know for a fact mimics your skin. So when you're yeah. using it, it, it's literally blending straight into your pores and it's really pushing everything in for you. 
Um, so um, you also need a primer. You need something that will protect your skin from all that makeup and something that will help your makeup apply nice and smoothly. I think that's fine. That's what fine. We've got yeah. everything. Mm. So um, a recap, we've got primer, moisturizer, SPF, tissue and beauty blender. Okay, that's it. See you next time.